General settings affect the look and functionality of Sage Time Slips. Unlike personal preferences, general settings affect all workstations that access the database. This training video will review the general settings available to you. From the Setup menu, open the General Settings dialog box. Several groups of settings are listed down the left side of the page. You can click on a page name to quickly switch to those settings. On the Firm Address Information page, use the Address field to specify the address of your business. This address typically appears at the top of your bills and reports. You can also enter phone numbers for your firm. These numbers can optionally be included on bills and reports. On the Firm Terminology page, you can change name labels used throughout the program. When you change terminology here, your changes are reflected accordingly on window titles, field labels, and menu commands. For example, you may use the term account instead of client. On the calendar terminology page, you can change the terms associated with calendar entries and to-do items. You can also name the calendar categories that you use to group entries. For example, you can set up categories for in-office and out-of-office entries. On the Firm Other page, you can set the character to use as the private text indicator. Choose how time slips will notify you of feature usage, and set up how Sage time slips will save data when you force other users out of the program. On the Financial Aging Periods page, you can indicate how your firm tracks overdue balances. You can customize how many aging periods your firm uses and the length of each period. For example, instead of the default four aging periods, you can use six aging periods to track overdue balances. Here you can also determine in what month your fiscal year begins. On the Financial Rules page, you can set up other financial rules that affect how your firm bills clients, such as billing by flat amounts instead of hourly amounts, when interest is calculated and what the minimum interest that can be charged, and the default finance charge. For example, you can set the default finance charge, which is typically used for return checks, to $25. On the Nicknames page, you can choose the character to use for client project names. You can set the maximum length, formatting rules, and numbering rules for nicknames, and you can prevent duplicates for secondary nicknames. For example, you can set the maximum length of secondary nicknames to 10 characters. On the new names page, you can control how Sage Time Slips assigns default values to new names. For example, when creating a new client project, you may want to automatically copy rate values and rate rules from the master client. On the Employee Titles page, you can customize the titles used for different levels in your firm. For example, you can add another level for Intern. If you summarize Timekeeper charges on the bill, you can use the order of these titles to control the order of summarized charges on the bill. On the Conflict Checking page, you can search the types of names that use conflict checking and which fields Sage Time Slips will search for conflicts. For example, you can automatically search for conflicts for new clients and timekeepers. On the Transactions Bills page, you can choose the types of bills that will receive invoice numbers, what the next global invoice number is, and if you'll reuse invoice numbers when you undo a bill. You can also set the number of bill images that you will store for each client. For example, you can use invoice numbers for all bills generated from time slips. On the Transactions, Slips, AR, and Funds page, you can set the numbering rules for new slips and transactions. 
You can also set the default value for payments, credits, and write-offs, and you can set up restrictions on entering slips. For example, you can prevent slips from being entered for dates that have passed. On the Transactions Default Descriptions page, you can set default descriptions for accounts receivable transactions. For example, you can change the default descriptions for payments. On the Transactions Fee Allocation page, you can customize the terminology used for tracking the categories of timekeepers used for fee allocation. For example, you can change the abbreviations that will appear on the bill. On the Payment Types page, you can choose which payment types will appear when entering payments. You can also customize the labels of some payment types. For example, you can reduce the number of payment types available. When you have finished changing settings, click OK. Your changes will affect all timekeepers accessing this database.